I'm doing this test uh, per uh, viewer's re request. They wanted me to show them how my video card handles the live view and the rendering of the Mr. Elephant um, a demo file with Blender 3.1.2 actually and with Metal and with Eevee. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, just make sure everything is, is set. Um, actually, we go to system, system. Go to system, yep, metal, it's only the eGPU card, the Vega uh, 56, 8 gigabyte. So here it is, I'm gonna just rotate it. It's not as smooth as on a, <laughs> on a uh, NVIDIA 380 or 390 of course, but it performs similar to M1 Max and M1, M1, uh, M1 Ultra. Um, Zooming, you know, it's, it's not as smooth as with those big chunky NVIDIA expensive cards and on Windows I'm not quite sure if the problem is only only that my card is not up to the to the speed of those uh, NVIDIA 380, but let's uh, let's do a rendering test So I saw it online that M1 Max and M1 Ultra Perform when rotating the scene perform similar I mean, it's quite choppy, not smooth. On Windows, it was uh, on Windows with NVIDIA 380. It was absolutely smooth and perfect. So let's do a rendering test. I'm gonna render the image. M1 Max uh, did it at one minute and 40 seconds. M1 Ultra did it at 40 seconds. So let's see what my Vega 56 will do with uh, with that rendering test. And there we go, 44 seconds. So, I mean, that's just a confirmation from my other video that if you need a machine for 3D editing, M1 Max and M1 Ultra are not the best one you can get because the eGPU, even with a cheap card like mine, and I'll say it again, my eGPU box costs 300 euros, it's a, a Razer X, and my card is Asus Vega 56. Uh, it's a little bit overclocked edition. It's a, a Republic of Gamers Rock, Rock edition, but it's still a very old, very cheap card that I got for 200 euros before the prices went ballistic. Um, brand new, and there you go. It does it in 44 seconds. Same as Ultra. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, comment below.